Hello my lovelies, welcome to Anatomy with Dr. Jasma. Today we're going to talk about the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. It's also known as the lesser sciatic nerve depending on what textbooks you're reading. It's going to start on the front side of the sacrum. It actually runs through the fascia, the back side of the fascia of the psoas muscle. And it's going to come down through what we call the greater sciatic notch. And it actually runs right with the sciatic nerve for a little while. Just like the sciatic nerve, it's going to run underneath the piriformis muscle. And in an unlucky 18% of the population, it's going to run through it. And we have three branches. So there is a gluteal branch, a perineal branch, and then the posterior branch of the thigh. But unlike the sciatic nerve, it is a purely sensory nerve. That means it doesn't affect the strength of the muscles, but it hurts when it's entrapped. And we can see its sensory nerve distribution here in the blue. So it's gonna come just underneath the gluteal fold, uh, the bottom of the butt, and run down all the way down to the what we call the popliteal fossa, or the back of the knee. And sensory or, or numbness and tingling anywhere in that area could be the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. And in fact, it's really often misdiagnosed as sciatica. And because of the perineal branch, it's often misdiagnosed as pudendal neuralgia. So what we have here is that perineal branch is going to come in and innervate the back side, the posterior side of the scrotum and the labia majora. And it's hard to see in that picture, but we actually have some anal fibers too. And that can mimic the inferior branch to the rectum of the pudendal nerve. So what do you do if you have it? Well, first you go see your pelvic PT. Right there is where you find one closest to you. And because there are many places where it can become entrapped at, you really need your physical therapist to help you determine where that is. If the entrapment is coming from the piriformis, which is one of the more common places for that to happen, you can take your lacrosse ball and sit on it. You're gonna put your lacrosse ball right in that spot and gently put a little weight on it and do a little movement just to kind of massage that out. Now, it usually takes more than that, uh, but it's a great way to see, does it start to give you a little bit of relief? Are you interested about learning more about your body? Hit that follow button and subscribe for more.